Hi, what's up? This is Guy. I'm a full-time filmmaker obsessed with self-development and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, this is where I discover tips, tricks, and tools to help me work more effectively in my art and in business. And I'm sharing those insights with you every single week so that you can apply them to your own journey of self-development. Today's video is part of our ongoing series on Rome research. And I'm going to share with you my set of integrations that I use to import book notes, articles, anything that I find on the web directly into Rome in a very easy and automated way. As usual, there's timestamps below, so find your favorite section if you're just looking for one specific tip. But here we go. Number one, books. So since Rome is a fairly new app, there aren't that many tools that directly link to Rome yet when you compare it to like Evernote or Notion. But one integration that exists is with Readwise. So Readwise is the sort of central place where I send everything to my Rome. That's the only integration I set up between Rome and Readwise. So you have Rome linked to Readwise, which means all of the snippets of information that I want to retain in my Rome, I basically find a way to send them to Readwise, which automatically sends them into my Rome. So with books, I use a Kindle. If you don't have a Kindle, I strongly recommend you get one. I'm gonna to link to Ali Abdal's video down below where he talks about the importance of reading and how to read more effectively. And that's really helped me to read more on a day by day. And the Kindle is one of the best ways to do that. So when you go on Readwise, you can set up an import function from your Kindle by linking the accounts, which means that every highlight that you take on your Kindle, including the notes that you take on that highlight, gets sent directly and automatically to Readwise. And then Readwise syncs them with my Roam. So when I'm uh, reading at night and I have a section that catches my eye, I highlight it and it's this beautiful feeling of knowing that the next day it's going to be already imported in my daily notes section in uh, Roam. Number two, articles. So since articles can be found all over the place, I recommend getting a tool like Instapaper or Pocket. I personally use Instapaper. So whenever I find an article, I just save it to my Instapaper, which achieves two things. Number one, it's much nicer to read your articles in Instapaper and they have a couple of cool functions like speed reading or using uh, voice playback to recite the article to you. Uh, but number two, it also allows me to batch my article time. It's really easy when you're working on a high priority task to get distracted by something. And uh, as the typical scenario I find is is that somebody sends me an article link. I look over to my WhatsApp, I see the article, and I'm thinking, hmm, this looks interesting. So now I don't wanna to forget to read it, so I click on the article and I read it right there, and maybe that article links to another one, and suddenly I get sucked down this black hole, and next thing you know, I've spent two to three hours reading exciting things, which is great, but it's distracted me from my high priority task, and now it's already the end of the day, and I feel like I didn't get the thing done that I really wanted to get done. A really easy way to get around this is to just save your articles to Instapaper, and that means that you can kind of block out, let's say on a Sunday morning, you block out one or two hours, and you just just go through all of your saved content on your Instapaper and you highlight the things that are most exciting to you. So how does this go into Rome? Same thing, Instapaper, you can link to Readwise, which means that when I highlight something on my Instapaper, it gets imported into Readwise and Readwise then sends it automatically to my Rome. Number three, any other things around the web. The cool thing is that both Instapaper and Readwise have Chrome extensions. So go to your Chrome and install the Instapaper and the Readwise extensions. And what that means is that anytime you come across something on the web, uh, you can just highlight a quick snippet and you can right click and you can say save to Readwise, which imports it into Rome. If it's a larger section, you don't wanna save the entire article, but you have like one or two blocks of text that you know you don't want the whole thing to go into your Rome, uh, you just highlight it and you save it to Instapaper. And then in Instapaper, you can look at it again when you're in your batch time and you can decide which of the um, sentences you wanna highlight and send into your Rome. So here you have the entire summary for books, Kindle goes to Readwise, goes to Rome. For articles, either you save them to Instapaper, you highlight stuff in Instapaper, which then sends it to Readwise, which sends it to Rome. Or if you're reading something in real time, you didn't stop to save it to Instapaper, you can just highlight certain functions and you can right click, send it directly to Readwise, and that's gonna go directly into Rome. And last but not least, any other information that you find around the web that you're highlighting can be sent directly to Readwise, which goes to Rome, or it can go to Instapaper where you can take a second look at it, decide what you wanna highlight, which then goes to Readwise, which then goes to Rome. Okay, so one more thing I said I was gonna talk about is podcasts. Now with podcasts, there is a really handy app called Air Quotes, A-I-R-R. -R, and um, the problem with it is it only works on iOS. So I myself can't use it yet. I'm a Android user, but um, for anybody who you know works on iOS, it's a fantastic little app that lets you um, export little quotes and basically bookmarks from podcasts that you're listening to. And um, just like with all the other tools I said, there is a Readwise integration where you can 
export your air quotes to Readwise, which then goes directly into Roam. Um, so it works the same as all the other ones. I'm still looking for something equivalent for audiobooks. Let me know if you found something like that. But yeah, I'm on the wait list for air quotes. I'm just looking forward to the day where I can use it myself. Um, for anybody who's got an iPhone, um, that's already a tool available to you. So there you have it. Those are all the integrations that I currently use. Uh, there are a couple more that I'm working on. So one big thing for me is that I want to find a way to send my notes on YouTube videos directly into my Roam. So there's a couple of extensions that exist for taking notes on YouTube, but I haven't found an effective way yet to send those into my Roam. If you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments below. But for now, these are the quickest ways that I found to import the things that are most important to me on a day by day directly into my Roam. And it's a beautiful feeling. You just open up your daily notes section and it's all there and you can organize it afterwards the way you want to. Readwise at the tier that you need to integrate to Roam, uh, costs $7.99 a month and Instapaper is free up to five highlights a month. So if you highlight more than five things per month, you want to go to a pay plan with Instapaper, which is only a couple of dollars per month. So that's a lower price tag. Readwise does cost $7.99 a month, which is a little much if you're just using it to integrate into Roam. But Readwise is just a beautiful tool in and of itself. Anything that you save into your Readwise, it sends you daily updates, uh, giving you little refreshers on things that you've highlighted in the past. So it's a really nice way to retain more from the books that you read. And it also integrates into a bunch of other platforms that I use. So it's really useful. And if you read regularly, I definitely recommend you get Readwise. Really appreciate your time. See you in the next video.